Hello everybody, this is Patrick Cosplay with Nerd Calibre at New York Comic Con 2013 and I'm here with... I'm Gina B. Nice to meet you. So, how are you enjoying New York Comic Con so far? It's really different. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually going as, I guess, a layman, as like a con attendee. Last year I worked it at a booth and so to be able to actually participate with everybody and be walking around is a very different experience for me. So. Alright, so is this your first New York Comic Con? You mentioned you went to... You were a booth last year. Is this your second or a third? This is officially my second year at Comic Con, which is odd. I'm from Long Island. You would think like I'd always be over here, but it was just never in the cards for me before that, you know? So tell us about the character you're cosplaying today. I'm an oldie, actually, and it's been a hit or miss thing. People either know me or they don't. I've been getting a lot of flash jams, but I'm actually Lisa from Weird Science, and uh, it's one of my heartfelt, you know, growing up movies back in the day. It's from the middle of the 1980s, so, you know, that's why she's got the hair and, you know, the the outfit going on, and I, I really love the movie, so I just had to. I mean, I had the hair. <laughs> My next question, how long have you been going to cons and cosplaying? I've officially been going to cons since 2004, but when I started out, it was mostly like with friends, and I would just do really simple outfits, and I really didn't like... I did it for fun mostly, but now I'm taking a more serious turn on it and I really want to push my boundaries on what I can make and what I can do. And I believe I started that maybe around two years or so ago. So it's been a lot of fun and I've been expanding a lot of skills since I've started that. So tell us what was your first con because you're kind of a veteran cosplayer. Oh man, convention attendee. make me feel old now. <laughs> um, my first convention was Otakon and I wore Sango from Inuyasha. And I'm, my armor was made from pizza boxes and I had my boomerang was all duct tape and it was the most horrendous thing and looking back I I just smile and laugh you know what I mean and I think that's what a first costume is supposed to be and looking back at that now it shows me how much I've improved because I actually remade that outfit last year and I fiberglassed all the armor and it was just such a huge deal to me to be able to see my own self-improvement in that. That's what costume is all about right? It really is, you know, being more confident in yourself, making friends, going out, but it, I think the convention scene really helps a lot with people with confidence. Awesome. So, about the time we talk about your character, your costume, you said Lisa, so what other characters have you done? Oh my, I'm currently known for my Velma, which is really quite silly. I don't think I look anything like her, but I love her so much, I just couldn't resist from cosplaying her, you know? And uh, I've do, done a lot of anime, I'll do Major Kusanagi, I'll pop in at conventions too, I'll do video games, I'll have Sung Mina. And so I try to branch in a little bit of everything, and I just recently got back from Dragon Con, which was a lot of fun, and I was Hawk Girl. My father collects DC Comics. He has all of his gold in the Silver Age DC Comics. So, you know, I have to pay tribute to my dad and my upbringing, so. <laughs> right, awesome. So you mentioned Dragon Con. What other cons have you been to? I've been all over the map lately. It's, it's ridiculous, actually. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue doing it, but I've gone to Anime Expo. I've been to Dragon Con. I'm looking actually right now to go to Colossal Con in Ohio. So I think it's always different. And to go to different places, you get to meet different people. And if you go to the same conventions, you end up in a rut sometimes. You get too familiar with the con, and you get too familiar with the people that are there. But if you all of a sudden throw yourself somewhere new, that really opens up your horizons and the ability to make new friends. All right, so 2014, you mentioned Colossal Con. What other cons do you think you'll be going to? We're also looking to head back to Dragon Con because it's one of my favorites. I always recommend that to everybody. And actually, we're looking to go to some things that are maybe not necessarily convention related. Like, I really want to go to Evo this year. And I really want to be able to not just cosplay, but like support everybody who I know competitively plays. I mean, I would love to be able to enter, but goodness knows my skills are horrible. But I have a lot of friends and my boyfriend plays competitively, and I want to be able to support that. So I think that would be really good to get into. All right, thank you very much for your time. Now, do you have a fan page you can follow your work at? I do have a fan page. I have my page on Facebook is Gina B Cosplay, and I can also be found on Twitter. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, Gina. This is Patrick Cosplay with Nerd Calibre signing out. I've been getting my nose down to the grinder and really popping out a whole ton of outfits. <laughs> There's a video going on. Stop walking in it, please.